Welcome back to In the Paint. Bar Reeve has certainly enjoyed 2015. The Vikings haven't lost this year. They're riding a 12 game winning streak. Bar Reeve was on the road tonight at Bloomfield. One of the big reasons I could watch Bar Reeve play any day of the week. They're so unselfish. Chris Whitmer, the assist to Logan James for the trifecta. More great passing for Bar Reeve. They swing it around the perimeter to a wide open. Seth Swartz, a trooper, who hits the corner three. I think Megan McEwen could have even hit that three. What do you think, Megan? Maybe. Not as well as that. Brandon Van Zandt from Bloomfield getting a lot of attention from D1 schools. He's 6'6", and I see why. Very athletic. We'll see where he ends up at the college level. Bar Reeve, though. Continues to win. What can you say about Coach Hughes and company? They win 40 to 33. That winning streak is still intact. And how about this level of consistency, Megan? Vikings win their 12th straight. They win tonight. Marks the fourth year in a row that Bar Reeve has won 20 or more games. Megan. Well, our area Illinois high school boys basketball teams are in the postseason already. Tonight, Marshall was trying to win the school's first regional title since 2009 when the Idol Twins and Taylor Duncan were playing for the Lions. Marshall took on Teutopolis in the regional finals tonight. And let me tell you, the atmosphere was incredible. Beginning of the fourth tee downs, Mitch Hardick hits from downtown. They lead by two. But boy, did Brock Finkbeiner put on a show. Look at him reject the screen. Crossover, windmill. Boy. Finishes out the hoop, game tied at 28. Finkbeiner again, is he going to shoot? Is he going to drive? As Dickie V says, yeah, baby. And one, Lions lead by one. And how about a little driving kick here to Chaz Lindsay in the corner? He is silky smooth. They trail by two with a minute left in regulation. This play has Rick's rallies written all over it. Josiah Wallace gets fancy, step back, gets the jumper to fall. That ties the game up at 39, and we're going into overtime. And there is not just one, but two OTs, double OT, T downs. Michael Drees gets the put back to go up by two, and they stayed ahead for most of the second overtime. Marshall Spinkfeiner hits the three here, but it wouldn't be enough. Marshall loses mm. a heartbreaker in double overtime, 54-51. Rick. KZ Westville took on Class A number one Dietrich in the regional finals at Oblong. Warriors Darius Fisher with the soft touch. KZ at 40-35 in the fourth. KZ has been a completely different team since Corey Carver has come back from the injury. The 6'5 big man makes a difference. He gives the Warriors a five-point lead, just over two to go. Peyton Chisholm, the sweet assist to Fisher. And folks, KZ does it. They take down number one. Megan just did a Dickie V. Impression, here's mine. As Dickie V would say, Upset City, baby! Casey Westfield wins 53-49. Handy Dietrich, their first loss of the season. The Warriors win their first regional title since 2004. Congratulations to the Warriors. The Lawrenceville regional title had two LIC foes going at it as the host Indians took on Robinson. Lawrenceville's Jordan Sheck playing physical down low. He refuses to back down and finally goes and shoots it up and in. Robinson's Connor Griffin gets baseline, hangs, and hits the tough mid-range jumper. This game was close throughout. Lawrenceville plays let's beat the buzzer game, and the Indians win thanks to Dylan Volkman, who throws up the prayer with two defenders on him, and it falls. Lawrenceville wins a close one, 63-60. Your Indians are your regional champs. Megan. Well, in women's college basketball, the Lady Sycamores have dropped a season-high three straight games. They were looking to get things turned around tonight at Evansville. We pick up action in the second half. Sycamores have long-range shooters. Jasmine Greer is no exception. She launches from the wing and nails the trifecta. Then Indiana State starts to run. Greer's going to finish off the fast break. High off the glass and the aces are down double digits. Sycamore start to pour it on. Great ball movement sets up Travisia Franklin for the baseline lay-in. Evansville's down 20 and the losing streak is over for the Lady Sycamores. Indiana State wins 71 to 53. Well, for the sixth year in a row, Sports 10 has had fun with the Sports 10 Spirit Award. That's right. It's time now to announce this year's winner. And thanks again for Tempo Furniture for their support of this award. Congratulations 
to Vincennes Lincoln High School this year's winner for the high school basketball season. This is the first time the Alices have won. As you can see in the video, they were pumped up. I love the outfits they had on tonight. Senior citizens, because it was senior night. <laughs> I love it. It's so punny. They went all out for the Sports 10 Spirit Award. They were pumped up to win, and they deserved it. They had the best student cheering section this season. They even did their Vincennes Lincoln Alices champ force. Congratulations again to Vincennes Lincoln on winning this year's Sports 10 Spirit award for the high school basketball season. I had a great time this evening down at Vincennes with all the Alice's. They love their basketball. Time now for our Sports 10 Top 5 Fantasy Stars of the Night brought to you by Joe's Garage Barbecue and Bakery in Clay City. We had some great performances tonight. Ethan Claycomb, speaking of Vincennes Lincoln, they had a bunch of guys in double figures. He led the way with 26 points. When North Central is shooting, it is usually Austin Jewell getting the work done. He had 22. And they can shoot those T-Birds, I tell you what. <laughs> you like that team, don't I you? I do. They just shoot threes. I got a soft spot for them. I tell you what, everybody knows Linton. You got the big guy in Robertson. You got the D-Ball brothers over there. Drew Whitty is really starting to come on. His second game this week of 20 or more points. He does that. They're a tough team in the postseason. Jalen Loniger helps Coach, helps coach Dalrymple pick up career win, number 200, a double-double, 19 points, 10 rebounds, and as we mentioned, Trevor McGill for Sullivan, the game winner, and 15 points. That does it for our final in the paint of the regular season. We'll have more in the paints next week for sectionals. Have a good night.